All right then, gang, so now we know how these JavaScript hooks work, let's try using them to control our transitions instead of using CSS. So I'm in the About component, first of all, and what I'm going to do is delete all of these CSS transition classes that we have. We don't need those anymore. And up here in Setup, I've just got two hooks, Before Enter and Enter, and they're the two hooks that we're going to need to create an Enter transition. And that's also all I return at the bottom. So I deleted everything else and then up here on the transition component, we have just those two hooks and then I can delete this name right here if I wanted to, because we're not using those transition classes anymore, but I'm going to keep this right here. And that means that when we first see it on the page, it's going to transition in. So we could create all of these animations using vanilla JavaScript and no extra library but it would take a fair amount of time to code and a lot of trial and error. So instead, we're gonna be using a JavaScript animation library called GSAP. GSAP is a package that we can install into our project with NPM, and it works really well with the transition hooks that Vue gives us. And GSAP provides us with a load of methods then that we can use on elements to animate them from one state to another. So if you wanna learn more about GSAP, go to greensock.com forward slash GSAP and you can read all about it here. For now though, let's try installing this into our project. So then the first step is to install GSAP into our project. So let's open up a new terminal and say npm install GSAP like so. And now that's done, we can use it inside this project. The first thing we need to do is import it. So I'm gonna say import GSAP from GSAP, which is now stored away in our node modules folder. And now we have this, we can use it inside any of these hooks right here. Now, the way we do this is by first of all, setting the initial state of this element that we're transitioning. And we do that in before enter. This is a bit like the class enter from, we set the initial state, where do we want to start? So we can do that inside before enter. And we don't need to use GSAP in order to do this because we're not animating at this point, we're setting things up. So let me just log a message to the console here, console.log. And I'm going to say before enter and then hyphen set initial state. So this is where we set the initial styles, if you like, of the element we're transitioning in. So in order to do that, I can take the element, I can say dot style and then apply whatever styles I want to it. Now to begin with, I'm going to say transform and I'm going to set that equal to translate y minus 60 pixels. And basically, this means that it's going to start a little bit higher and then eventually it's going to come down onto the page. Now, the other style I want to apply is an opacity. So L.style.opacity and set that equal to zero to begin with. OK, so they're the initial styles. Now I want to transition to the styles that they're going to be on the page. And that's where we use GSAP, because if we just said right here L.style, dot opacity is equal to one, for example, it's not going to animate from zero to one. It's just going to click into position when it enters the DOM and there's going to be no transition. We want to animate it. So in order to do that, we use GSAP. So let me do another log to the console. First of all, I'm going to say starting to enter hyphen make transition. All right, then. So we'll say GSAP and then use a method called two. And this is us saying we want to animate to something or other. Now it takes two arguments. The first one is the element that we want to animate in. And we get access to that right here. The second argument is an object. And in here we define the different CSS properties that we want to animate. So I could say Y to zero. And this is a transform. We don't say transform, translate Y. We just say Y. And this does a transform for us under the hood. So it's going from minus 60 to zero. The other one is opacity and we want that to be one. Now, the other thing we can do in here is set a duration. So I'm going to do that as well. Duration. This is how long it takes. And um, we'll just say it takes one second. All right then. So if I save this now and come over here, then we can see it comes in from the top and it fades in as well. So that was quite nice. Now, one thing we can do is add other easing functions to this and we get more with GSAP. So one, for example, is bounce dot out. And this gives us kind of like a bounce effect. So if I save this now and preview, I'm going to refresh so we can see that. 
now we get that bounce effect that looks quite nice. Cool, so that's how simple it was to use GSAP right here to animate in from an initial state to this state right here. Now, one more thing I want to show you, I'm gonna create the next hook. So const and after enter, set it equal to a function like so. And I'm just gonna console.log after enter like so. And I also need to return this at the bottom over here. So after enter, and I'm gonna attach the after enter hook right here as well. So after hyphen enter like so, set it equal to after enter. All right then, so this should fire right here after it fully animates in, right? So to demonstrate this, let me just change this duration to three seconds. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna refresh. Now notice, the hook fires, but it's still transitioning in, and it should only fire after the animation is complete. But the problem here is that the transition component doesn't know when this animation is complete. We say the duration is three seconds, but this is separate from the transition component. We need to tell view when this is done. Now, in order to do that, we can use a second argument that we get access to, and that is a function that we're gonna call done. And this is a function that we can invoke to tell view that we've done with the transition. Now, we do that using an on complete property inside this GSAP method. So this on complete property is gonna be a function that will fire once this animation is done after three seconds. And when we fire that function, it tells you that we're done with this stage and then we go on to the next stage. So now hopefully this should only log after these three seconds. So let me save this and you can see now it waits until it's fully transitioned in and then fires after enter. So now we know how to use GSAP. Next up, we're gonna make a more complex staggered animation for this contact page right here.